Hello everybody, Bill Thornton, Sil Cal Saber here. Time for some Detroit Tiger baseball. This is out of the park number 25. And this is game number 69 of the 1968 Detroit Tiger season. And they are fixing to move in to go into Cleveland and play against a, uh, a righty, Stan Williams. So let's go down and see what the lineup looks like. And uh, we got some problems here. We got a lot of guys that are in slumps, and there are there are left-handed hitters too. <clears throat> Cash Northrop. Wow. I probably should just get some. Uh, I got Gage Brown. I want to put Eddie Matthews. Oh, Matthews is already in the lineup. Where's he playing? He's playing third. Trzuski's there. Let's get the um, so let's get Stanley in the game anyway. Let's put him in center. So those, those things mean the guys are in a slump. And at first base, I don't think Gates Brown plays first base. No, he doesn't. All right, so we're gonna move uh, we're gonna move K line up to second, even though it's against the right. and get Cash down there further in the lineup. <clears throat> All right, hopefully he'll break out during the game. Let's get her going here. <clears throat> and the Tigers will be leading off here in the uh, top of the first here in Cleveland with Dick McAuliffe. We do our pregame swing around the uh, stadium. Dick lines it on, or grounds it down the third, easy out. Here's K line. K line's been hot. Let's see how he's doing against a righty, though. Righty on righty. Stan Williams, pretty good pitcher here. <clears throat> Detroit hasn't been scoring very much lately, even though they've won three out of their last four. Oh, there's K line with a base hit versus the righty. Now they moved up to within, I think, three and a half games to start this game, starting this game. Willie Horton. Oh, yeah. Willie, Willie, Willie. It's Bill Freehand. He's on a hot little hot streak, too. Got him. Stan Williams dealing, folks. On the mounds, Mickey Lolich. <clears throat> Forget what his record is. I'll show you the uh, stuff at the end, the box scores and all that stuff. And then when we go back to the Detroit screen, uh, we'll see where they are as far as that. Lolich to face Vic Davalio here in the bottom of the second. A little grounder down the short and over there. Oh, it's a error. Who's an error? Trzuski comes scoops it up. Bad, bad throw by Trzuski. He's normally a pretty good shortstop fielding, but here's Jose Cardinal. All right, Mickey says, take that. Tommy Harper. And he draws the walk. We've got runners on first and second now. With one out. Cleveland threatening here. The ground ball on. Get, get, the, get the lead runner anyway. Oh, they got him. They got, they got the batter, not the lead runner. Okay, runners on second and third now for Joe Askew at the plate. There's a ground ball. There's Trzuski. Throw it over there. Get that easy out. And they got out. Lowlich gets out of that early jam. All right, Mickey Stanley inserted in the last minute insert for Northrop, who's in a little bit of a slump. Stanley, a little ground, slow grounder to second. Here's Cass. I've, I've even set him down. I just can't get him out of this slump. Oh, wow. It looks like i got to start looking for get another first baseman up here in the active roster. Give him some rest. Here's Eddie Matthews. Eddie is uh, batting 185 on the season. He's been playing a little third, playing a little first. Draws the walk. Trzuski, 158. Not real good. 
Man, this is going to, oh, they got the, they didn't get the lead runner. But, oh, they did get the double play. Wow. All right, here we go. Larry Brown, the face Lola here. There's a ground ball on the first. Lolich covering. Takes it for the out. Max Elvis. There's a little pop up. Cash moving over there. Takes it for the second out. And Chico Salmon. There's a fly out the center. Stanley underneath it. Miss Stanley is playing pretty good. He plays center and shortstop. <clears throat> if we didn't have him playing center today, I probably would have had it short for Trzuski because Stanley's batting around 250. I think what's oh, his? Yeah, two, he's right at 250. All right, here's the, Mickey Lolas, the pitcher. Mickey pops it up. All right, Dick McAuliffe. Draws the walk. We got some speed down there at 65 55. We got a 65 catcher arm. No, he's not going anywhere. Here's K line. And we drew another walk. Come on, Willie. We got Horton. He's got 29 RBIs on the season. Wow, wow. Here's Freehand. Brown ball down to third. Throws it over, and they are out of the inning. Now you're getting a little drink. Here, here we go. Stand the pitcher to Stan Williams. So Mickey knows he needs to have a good pitching game because the offense has been pretty sweet lately for the Tigers. Background noise pretty loud there. Here we go. Cardinal. There's a base hit in the center. Stanley comes in, fields it, gets it back into the infield. Tommy Harper. He's going. Freehand ain't going to get him this time. It's his 10th stolen base. Got a runner in scoring position here with two outs for Tommy Harper. There's a long shot off the, off the wall out there in the center. And the Indians have taken the lead here. All right. Got the first two guys out pretty easy. Now we're going to fall apart here. Tony Horton. And he pops it up. Catchers out there to catch it. But they got a run in. They take the lead. After three, it's one to nothing. Cleveland. Top of the fourth here. Mickey Stanley. It's a slow grounder to second. He's going to beat it out. Yes, he does. Mickey uses that good speed of his. Norm, we'd sure like you to break out of your slump right here. And he just pops it up to the third baseman in foul territory. Eddie Matthews. Another grounder to third. They, they turn the double play. And we're going to the bottom of the fourth with Joe Askew at the plate. Freehand's uh, strength down here still look pretty good. It's still in the lower part of the green. I mean, not freehand, Lolich. There's another base hit in the center. Oh no, it's a shortstop moves over there and pips it up. It was a little bit too high. Larry Brown. Brown ball down to third. Matthews fires it over there and they get him. Eddie Matthews in his prime was a real power hitter and a great defenseman for, for the Braves. Here's Max Elvis with two outs. And there's Szuski. And they got him. 
Top of the fifth here in Cleveland, Dick Trzuski. Lolich. Stan Williams is dealing now, folks. That's his sixth strikeout. And there's Dick McAuliffe. Wow, strikes out the side in the order. All right, bottom of the fifth. Chico Salmon. Salmon. And he hits that ball hard out there in the right, but ooh, K-Line is there to make the catch. Salmon's in a kind of a slump. He thought maybe that was going to break him out of it there, right there. And here's Stan Williams, the pitcher. And they hit him. That's a good way to get him to calm down a little bit. All right, Davalio. Um, ball on the third. They're not going to get him. They might, they're not getting anybody. Uh, an error? Wow. I don't believe that. But here we go. Cardinal runners on first and second again. And there's a long fly. Just waiting for that audience, the extra noise to calm down a little bit there. Tommy Harper with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. The guy's on scoring position, and there's Harper hits a fly ball out there. Just one of the infielders has got it. There we go. Trzuski out there. Okay, we are in the top of the sixth. We've got K-Line coming to the plate. Another base hit. All right. Yeah, I'll keep that hot streak going. Showing that you can hit righties also. Willie Horton not doing too well here today. He's 0 for 2. His average has dropped down below 300. It's at 294 right now. Willie hit that ball hard, hard. Oh, and the right fielder makes a good running catch out there. Here's Freehand, 0 for 2. He's down to 275. Been known for some doubles. There's a base hit in the left for Freehand. We got runners at first and second. Mickey Stanley, one out. First time the Angels or the Tigers have threatened here today. Stanley. Oh, and they're gonna turn a double play or get out of it again. That's the second time. They ended the inning with the double play. Lulich on the mound here in the bottom of the sixth. Tony Horton at the plate. And that's a long fly ball to K-Line. Who makes a nice running catch? Joe Askew. Then he draws the walk on a two and one count. Three and one count. There's Larry Brown. One out. Lays the bunt down. They're playing small ball. He threw it a second. He's going to get the lead runner. <clears throat> Way to feel and play that ball there, Lulich. All right, Max Elvis. Two out. One out. Fly ball. K-line. Another running catch. Two down. Chico Salmon. Trying to break out of his personal slump. And he does. No, he doesn't. So he's got Stanley running in, and Stanley catches up with him. Okay, we got Norm Cash. We, we better put, see if we can get somebody warming up. As you can see what I did. I put Mark Marshall. But I brought him in from the minors and put him in as a starter because Sparma had been doing nothing. And so we uh, let's see. Ask the bench coach. Oh, he wants Fred Lasher to get some time if we need him. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Swinging away, Norm Cash. Norm hits the ball pretty hard, but that center fielder's got a beat on that one, too. These guys in slumps are just having a tough time. Eddie Matthews. Eddie's batting 182 on the season. Draws the walk. 
No, they're going to play a little small ball, too, but I think. Let's go. Let's get Trzuski, and then we'll put a pinch hitter in. All right. What's the count? 0-1. We'll try it again. Oh, wow. 1-1. One one. Let's try one more time. There he put lays it down. Oh, and they go to the lead runner also. Oh, boy. These un unsuccessful bunts. Okay, we're going to bring in uh, Gates Brown. The pinch hitter. Gates is betting uh, 222. He has hit one home run this year, drove in eight. <clears throat> Mostly he's a part time player and a pinch hitter. And it's a little ground ball on the second. He throws it over and it's. A really easy out. The Tigers can't do nothing, folks. Okay, Fred Lasher coming in. Fred's doing a little bit better lately, but he got off to a really uh, tough start this year. And he lined the first batter lines one into right field. Okay, Dabalio. Nobody out. Right. Oh, way to go, Lasher. The fans are going crazy here in in Cleveland. All right, Jose, Jose Cardinal. This ground ball short. Turn this double play. Turn this. Well, come on, guys. You're not even trying. Should have been an easy double play. It's Tommy Harper. And he hits one up the gap, folks. Yep. Get that ball in, Stanley. He's throwing home. Run scored. What is going on with you guys? Horton. But it's, it's after seven, it's two to nothing. Top of the order, Dick McAuliffe, they gotta get something going, folks. We're gonna go down in flames again. There's McAuliffe with a base hit. Got the power part of the order coming here. K-line, oh, the left fielder makes a nice running catch. Willie Horton. Willie hit that ball pretty hard. That ball's gone. We got a tie game. Yes, sirree. 443 feet to tie the game up. Bill Freehand takes low, makes low, takes Lolich off the hook. Stanley. That's, oh, he, oh he, I thought maybe he was going to hit it over to center field his head, but he made a nice run and catch. And we are going to the bottom of the eighth, folks, and it is uh, tied up. Oh no, Norm Cash is still up. That's it was only two outs. All right, Norm. We've got a runner out there at first. Do something. Strike three. I got to set him on his butt down. <clears throat> Joe Askew. That's one out. It's Duke Sims. What has Duke done this game? He's a hole for none. He must be just coming in as a pinch hitter. Got him looking, ready to go, Lasher. One more, get him out of here. Lee May, lots of power here. Oh, and there's a nice diving catch by Dick McAuliffe at the second. And we're going to the top of the ninth and we're tied up. 
Yeah, and we're going to have to get some. Lasher's done his work. The Hiller's warming up in the bullpen. And here we go with Eddie Matthews. Strike three. Strike three. No, we don't. We got. We got to see something here. We're gonna check that. We're gonna. What do we got here? We're, look, I think we got. We might. Does Bill Campbell play shortstop? No, only second. Okay. Magic does though. Yeah, so Magic's gonna Magic is gonna be pinch hitting for Trzuski. Alright, top of the ninth. Gotta get something going. Magic lines it out the left, but it's going to be caught. Okay, now we got to get a pinch hitter for the pitcher. We're going to let Dave Campbell go righty on righty bat. He's been doing pretty well this season as a part-time player. And he's currently batting 269. And it's going to be a lazy fly out the center. We're going to the bottom of the night, folks. All right. First of all, we're going to put Magic in it short. And then we're going to bring John Hiller in the pitch. We're going to the bottom of the ninth. Come on, John. Hold him off. Give us a chance. Here's Salmon in that slump, but he's still over for 3. This would be a terrible time for the Tigers for him to break out. Hiller looking in for the sign. Ground ball out to McAuliffe over to Cash. Bouncer takes another drink. Here we go. Richie Shibu. Shen Shen Blue. Fly ball out the center, but oh, the Califf runs out in the short left, short center, and brings it home. Vic Davileo. Right All right, way to go, Hilla. Top of the tenth. Got a new pitcher in there for them, Steve Hargan. Second, and they got the easy out. Comes K line. L is uh, two for three today. Got his average up to 325. Let's keep it going, L. Oh, they hit him. Start a fight. Let's empty the benches. All right. Willie Horton. Willie's one for four today. He's got the power. Hits it hard to the shortstop. Are they going to turn it? Yeah, they are. Willie, a little slow on that slow footed going down that first baseline. We're going to the bottom of the 10th here. <clears throat> Hiller still on the mound. Jose Cardinal. And there's a base hit in the center. Okay, let's keep that guy on. Cardinal's got some good speed over there. He gets back. Let's get him. Come on, Freehan. Missed him again. You know, they, got, they got the winning run at second base. Nobody out. Tommy Harper. There's one. Tony Horton. Pops it up. Cash moving over in foul territory. Brings it in for the second out. Okay, one more. Get out of this mess here, Hiller. 
Joe Askew. Joe lines it on the left. That's going to be the walk-off pace here, folks. The Indians have won the game. They're all out there celebrating the walk-off. All right, enough of that. Here we go to the box on box scores. You said only six hits for the Tigers. Let's run out. Horton, that was his 15th home run. <clears throat> Horton said 295. K lines up at the 325. Look at that. Cash is down to 213. All right. We're going to be looking before our next game to get some buddy up from the minors for the first base. <clears throat> Got Lola. She didn't get nothing, but Hiller takes the loss. Two and four now on him in relief. Not very good. Hargan gets the win. Look at that ERA for Hargan. But he's only pitched one inning, that's why. <clears throat> In the game was Stan Williams, the pitcher. All right, we're going to leave the game. We're going to get you back over to here. Let's see what the uh, the messages are I got. Okay, Bunting beats the, Gi Bunting beats the Giants for his 200th win. And the Phillies' Fryman stops the Astros. That was just news. Okay, let's go over here to the Tigers. Uh, well, we're at four and a half. We dropped the full game. So, that, yeah, well, that was where we were playing Cleveland, the first place team. So that makes sense. So we're still in the running. That We still got a long way to go in the season. Four and a half games is very doable. So, anyway, so Cal Sabre saying thanks for stopping by. Go down there and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. And stay safe.